Do I... I think we're lost, Mina told her companion. They could hear the torrential rain and thunder outside, the same storm that knocked out the power in the entire Celestial Tower and the surrounding area. All Mina wants to do is at least find the front door, so she can leave as soon as it clears up. She scolded herself for not bringing another source of light with her into the tower. There's nothing we can do but wait until morning, Mina mentioned, sitting down and leaning against what Mina hoped was the wall. Let's try and get some sleep. Do, her duot answered, sitting down beside her. After numerous unsuccessful attempts to get some sleep, Mina just sat where she was, idly petting her sleeping duot and checking the time every few minutes. That's when she noticed a purple flame nearby, like the flame of a candle and it seemed to be moving towards her. Mina was instantly alert, her hand instinctively going to the Pokeballs attached to her waist. She didn't throw one. She wanted to be sure that whatever it was had hostile intentions before attacking. As it came to where she was, she could see in the purple light that it was indeed a living candle. Litwick, it said, its eyes looking over Mina and Duat. Mina noticed as it came close that this Pokemon was a light source, Though not as bright as a light bulb, it was enough to lead them out, but only if it was willing. Hello, Mina said as kindly as possible. We got kind of lost in the darkness. Do you think you could help us by leading us to the door? Lit, Litwick, it answered, nodding. Mina woke up Duat, who was initially suspicious of the candle Pokemon, and was ready to attack. But after Mina told him that Litwick agreed to lead them out, he calmed down and allowed the candle to lead the way. Initially, Litwick used its light to make sure they took the right path and didn't trip, as well as leading them through the maze of gravestones to the stairs. But as they went, it became harder and harder, until both Mina and Duat were breathing heavily. After a bit more, Duat suddenly fainted. Litwick, come over here. I need your light to check on Duat, she called to the Litwick. It turned and came back, and Mina was able to see that he didn't just faint. It was more like his energy was sapped. Duat... Can you hear me? Mina called, shaking him. Duat managed to weakly open his eyes halfway. Mina breathed a sigh of relief, thinking that he would be okay. But he shook his head and said, Do. Do. Ot. Do. Ot. Do. He closed his eyes again, as his body took a few more difficult breaths and laid still. Tears came to Mina's eyes as she realized that her Duat, her beloved Pokemon that she had since Juniper gave him to her as a present, was dead. She picked up his body, intending to give him a proper burial come morning. After another floor, Mina fell to her knees. She struggled to stand, but it was as if her energy had left her, as she didn't have enough to even get to her feet. She looked at the Litwick she was following, which now had a sinister smile on its face. Mina gasped, as she suddenly realized that the Litwick had been sapping her energy. It was the reason Duat was dead. She brought a hand to her belt, intending to use one of her other Pokémon. But Litwick jumped forward with surprising speed and knocked her on her back, scattering her Pokéballs everywhere. It sat on her chest, and the sinister yellow eyes would be the last thing she would see, as her remaining energy was sapped. Litwick stepped away from the now-dead human. As it walked off, it stopped and looked back at her. It kind of liked her, and it was sorry it killed her. But it needed to eat as well, and the human was the closest thing around. It was full now, but there will be others that will get lost, and it will be there to feed again. <laughs>